Well, hello everyone, and welcome to, welcome back to my channel, my Nikon S10 Shop and Garage. I am Mike. I'm the creator and the commentator. Hope you uh, please like, subscribe to the video on my channel if you haven't already. At my Nikon S10, Google. It'll take you right to my channel, or you can go to YouTube and type that in, and I'll pop up uploads and all 204 of my videos. So far, there's be 205 here. And thanks to all my subscribers, it's heartfelt. And I'm glad you are following me. Hope all of my videos are helping you out if you choose to do so, or the problem specifically. It helps you show the shortcut. I go through the long procedure, try not to leave anything out. So let's get started on my OA Pontiac. It's a bit quieter. It's a cool day. Raining, traffic. So we're in the garage. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn this around and show you what we're going to do today. Okay, we're a minute, 15 seconds into this. Okay, here's what I'm going to do today. A quick change out, I decided to just do this. Uh, the leak is fixed at this point, at that part, right here. And what I'm going to do is switch or swap that out. That's the new part I bought for this. And it originally came with, I think I still look, I have around 18 PSI for the cap. I'm swapping that out for the new 15 PSI, which also is the same for the surge tank, overflow tank. And we're going to see how this works. So let's get started. Give me just a second. Okay, let's get this little project going. Oh, yes. Just a second here. And, yes, before I forget, here's where I bought the cap. There's the info. Price may vary. This part at a lo local junkyard. Um... Uh, Top of my head, 12 bucks for this. All right. Let's get this swap out started. Okay. Now then. I'll try to stay out of the picture all that I can. inch extension and a 13 millimeter six point socket and just stubby ratchet and uh, the bolt right here that holds the overflow tube on or the Cooling tube to the surge tank, 10 mil. Being that the overflow hose is going to hook onto this, and this is all plastic, I'm not sure if I want to use the clamp tight versus this clamp. Or maybe spring loaded. More than likely, this one. Is any antifreeze still left in here? I've already drained most of the antifreeze out. There's 
with that. Now this bolt here will loosen up the tube. I'm doing this because I want to. But if you decide to do this, this is what you're going to be going through to do it. And if you don't drop any bolts. Yep, Oop. got it. Okay. Alright. Bolt back in so we don't lose it. In case this goes south on me, which it shouldn't, but just in case. Adafreeze filter is doing really good. And that now is pretty much out of the way. All right. Over. I just didn't want to take this off. It's all loose. Before it's over, I may take it off. I'm going to need a 3 8 inch pound newton meter torque wrench, which is right here. Come springtime or summer, we're going to do a tune-up on this. Got to take the alternator off to do it, but I'm going to video it, and you'll see all the procedure. And I know video, uh, recent videos on this oil, or oil leak, antifreeze leak I had here at the coolant. Uh, Number two for the surge tank. I used grease the first time, didn't work out great. It made it easier. Apparently the grease is not angry soluble. So I suggest not to use grease. I'm gonna try oil this time. Super snug fit. Okay, okay. It's going to be quite that snug. Okay, give me a second. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. No damage done. Couple little teeth marks, but still usable. 
All right. Now we're just over 10 minutes into this. Okay. All we're gonna do is pick the seal off. And this is what I'm using. Actually, I think it's, it's wax carving tools. Looks great for this. You can't buy the seal itself, so you gotta buy this here to get the seal. And over it goes. Off it goes. And just dry it off. All right. Let's clean this off a little better. Here's where it goes. All right. Let's roll it on. And no sharp edges. And there it is. Okay. A little bit of oil on it. Actually. Yeah, okay. Just your basic full synthetic 020. Flea market for a buck. You can use conventional oil, this will happen with it's full synthetic. There we go. A little bit into here. Let's see what we got now. Voila. Okay. This came off about a 305, excuse me, 305. Listen, I think it's Chevy now. 3.5 station uh, SUV or minivan. I spotted it. Thought I'll, I'll give it a try. You know something? Before I go any further, if we go any further. I'm gonna do something. Gut feeling. I'm going to wipe what I put down in the outlet hole on a crossover water pipe. I'm just going to wipe that all out. Let's see. I'm not sure if the grease caused it to leak. I know the O-ring I'm using, I don't think was bad. Might have been the grease. And to reiterate, I know I said it 
last video not to use grease, which this time I'm not. A little dab of oil. I don't think oil is going to hurt it, but I could be wrong, but I hope I'm not. Now I want to put this at uh, 80 inch pounds, or Nick meters, the torque wrench. Okay. We'll do it this way, 40 to 40. Now it don't take much. Now I'll bump it on up to 80. If it starts to leak, either oil or I'll snug it up some and see if that don't fix it. Okay. Did I use a torque wrench? One of these uh, click torque wrenches? Always zeroed out when you're done. Keep the tension off the spray. And there we are. Set this over out of the way. Close up the oil so I don't knock it over. If I do, it won't spill. Don't take much. Okay, dokey. Now then, let's back down over to here. Let's undo this and see what we have. We're just about ready to start her up. Let's see what we got. This out of the way. Before I forget, swap out the cap. Two surge tank or radiator caps, both 15 PSI. We can't run a 15 and an 18 together. That'll work for now. Okay. <coughs> Now then, Let's see what I have here. Just taking the clamps loose here. Try to get to where you still see. Bit of a snug fit getting this hose off, but at least it doesn't leak. Almost. Almost got it. Okay. That are out of the way. Wipe this off a little bit. And see what I got here. Now I gotta see about my fitment here. Seems to be a little stutter stronger than I figured, which is a plus. Uh, 
Oh. We've almost got it. Okay, give me just a sec. I'm going to leave the spring clamp on it for now. Let's see how difficult it would be to undo this. I don't even think I need to even get a clamp on that. Wow. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Clamp tight. I don't believe we're going to need a clamp, and I'm going to put one on anyway. Get her set up here. We get this turned around just a little bit here. We're 23 minutes into this. All right. Let's see if we can do it now. Actually, hold on a second. Give me just a minute. So this don't look so shabby. I'm just going to cut this part of the hose off. It's so tight I got to cut this part of the hose off to get to come off of that filler neck. There we go. Now 
to take the spring clamp off. I'll get it laid to the floor and I see it. Got a little bit off here and uh, we, we're back in business. To sharpen my blade a little bit on my tube, my hose cutter. Over oh, trash pile. Okay. Yep, it's a snug fit. Still don't need a clamp, but I'm going to put one on anyway. There we go. Now we're cooking. this time. Yep. A four incher. Maybe a three. Get my wires adjusted, spaced out right. That should do it. Being that the hose is so tight fitting, I'm not going to tighten this really tight. Okay, over it goes, we're locked. Second or two, and I'll show you all this. Nicely done. All right. Now, get some of this stuff moved out of the way for now. Oh, when I cut the hose with, this, this. Flea burger special, the buck. Okay. 
anything else? Not that I see. Still have plenty of slack. All plus. Yeah, I know, I'm blocking the view. That should do it. Now I go kicking everything around, moving the lights. All right, time for the antifreeze. Oh yeah, for a second. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay. Two minutes into this. Okay. Showtime. Okay. No doubt we're going to need more. All right. Be back momentarily. We're 33 minutes into this. Clamped. All's looking good so far. All right. And freeze in it, that'll go down. Now, being it's so doggone tight, I gotta go through the passenger side to get in the car. So, let's do this. There's not gonna be no fast process here. At all. It's a snug fit even for my skinny self. Okay. In we go. The camera, this gonna be jobbled up a bit. Now, bear with me. Ah, ah. Get my big skinny carcass in here. Just about got it. Okay. We're in, as you can see. I'm in, as like we can see. Should I say? Whoops. Hang on a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm in the driver's side now. Now what I'm going to attempt to do, okay, 
Give me a second. Okay, I had to make one other final adjustment. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully get to roll this thing out of the garage. I hope. I don't need that on. Here we go. Gonna be a lot easier getting in and out of this thing now. Okay. Oh, now let's see what we've got here. And she's ice cold, of course. All right, let's do it. Get the other lights off. Give me a second. Okay. You see the temps climbing. Our work, folks.
focusing right now out here. Because the vehicle took this filler neck I just put on off of, the hose went from that which does and goes right into the overflow or surge tank. All you ever see is I have the filter. And actually nothing. I think I know why. Cause that cap. Give me a second. We're 41 minutes into this. I'm gonna have to gut this old cap. That's not circulating, and with two pressure caps, it's got to build up eight or 15 psi before this cap would open up. But this is the 18 PSI. I'm just going to gut it. At least I hope to. That's part of it. I'm working on figuring this out.
That might do it. That looked like the, the cap. And from what you hope they can see, there's, there's five holes now versus this was covering it. So let's go see if this works. Okay, after I took that cap off, or the inner cap, or lid, it's circulating now. Has to be an open circuit right there, system. Turn it around. Now you can see it circulating. Now we're cooking. All right. As far as we can see, no leaks. Other than what I created a minute ago. Well, X about a minute ago. Open circuit now. Now we're now it's working, as you can see. Just back up. Check a tip now. Forty eight minutes into this. Very careful you do this. That rag happens to get snagged. You're wanting to pull it out and get your hand pulled in there. Don't recommend you do this. All's going good. We do instead of taking that cap off anymore, I'll take it off from over there. Now I gotta see what it's going to do with building that pressure. So that's that's an um, open flow, not open circuit, but open flow, open system at that point, not here. This cap seals it, that cap don't. See what heat we've got now. You 
got some air bubbles in her. But we do have heat. That's another video coming up. I'm not sure when on the bolts that hold the bolts on the crossover water pipe. There's some shims, spacers that goes on the bolts. I'll bring it to your attention on another video. But all the bolts that hold that bolt on the water crossover water pipe has to have these. Shims. I don't know what else to call them. Well, give me a second here. Put you two minutes into this. That wet wetness there now is purple power. Heat of the motor and clean that section off. And as you can see. She's doing her thing. And she has gone down some. Let's check her temp. <sighs> She's open. got good heat not the greatest but she's still bleeding out but the thermostat is open she's just got to do her thing now we're 54 minutes into this Just a second. Okay. I wasn't sure if right here was purple power or antifreeze. That was that white uh, streak stream you seen right here. At least I did. So being it's that close to the belt and do it that way, and possibly get my fingers finagled in and a rag in that belt, I shut the motor off to wipe that one off. And apparently, obviously, there's no leaks what I just swapped out. That was our 
I was there a while ago and I opened that up a little and when I sprayed the purple power on it a little dab of oil apparently did the trick versus the grease and a swap out worked out good so far so we shall see I'll keep you updated but all look good right now 56 minutes into this okay oops Uh, took that rag back to there this rag over there Tighten things up a little bit. I can put this back into that for the air tube tighten this screw up here and Clean up a bit go eat and get her on the road and See how she does. I will bring an update so on that note Turn around here. Yeah, see me scratching my nose. Okay, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like it, like it enough and help you out enough to subscribe. Thank you so much you do. And once again, a friendly reminder. YouTube, Google, at Maniacal S10. Well, you don't have to put the shop and garage in, just Maniacal S10. My channel will pop up and uploads, and you've got all 204 till this one gets uploaded. And I will bring you the update on how this turned out. There goes my hand wanting to be the star again. On that note, peace out everyone, and hope everyone has a safe, blessed, Merry Christmas, and a blessed, Happy New Year. Have a great one everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.